Hello, Internet. I'm Major General Bill Cooley, the commander at the Air Force Research Laboratory. And so we've been doing a study for the Secretary of the Air Force to review science and technology opportunities and ways of doing business to ensure that our United States Air Force stays on the technological cutting edge. And so Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, and our website that we've established, afresearchlab.com, have been collecting data. I wanted to take today and answer a few of those suggestions that have come in and maybe some questions. It says, Amazon-like warehouse robots to augment the LRS warehouse operations. In this case, I think LRS means logistics readiness squadrons. Great idea. We already know it exists. Amazon's doing it. Others are doing it. We know there are capabilities that are out there. We can and should leverage them. The real question for us from a science and technology perspective is, what's next? What else can we do? How much of this can we leave to autonomous systems? Those are some of the challenges we're trying to figure out and work with. You guys should research why blues and ABUs suck. You know, that's kind of an interesting suggestion. Maybe a little bit laced with opinion. First of all, I'm proud to wear the uniform. Second of all, it's an efficiency initiative. Think about it. How long do you spend in the morning trying to decide what you're going to wear? I'll tell you, wearing the uniform takes all that off the table, but it does raise a question. What can we do about blues and ABUs? Can we leverage them and insert additional technology? Can we monitor what the human performance is and our health and status? How can we take, make advantage out of the, the tools that we give our airmen? I would urge AFOSR, which is the Air Force Office of Scientific Research, not to neglect basic and applied research in social science. Some examples include how to operate successfully in different cultural environments. I think that's a great idea and probably an area where we collectively should spend some more time. I'm happy to report that we actually do have some research in this area. Is it enough? Probably not. But trust me, we're paying attention because we recognize how important it is to accommodate and understand uh, the cultures and environments that we work in. If you like this, please subscribe to Twitter and Facebook. Follow us online and send the ideas into afresearchlab.com. Keep those ideas coming. Thanks a lot and we'll see you next time.